Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna hop right into it just to keep this video short. Okay, so this first one is the background noise and this is amazing. You can get like an ambient sound on your iPad and you can get it while you're listening to music as well. So in order to enable this on your control center, what you're gonna do is head over to settings and go under control center. And then you're going to have to enable the hearing icon. So you would just tap that plus sign and then you'll find it on your control center. This one is great for making a quick note and not having to close out of the app that you're using. All you have to do is just swipe up from the right of your iPad and it has all the same features of the Notes app. The only difference is it's just smaller. To take a screenshot, all you have to do is at the bottom left, swipe up. If you are on a web page, you can also take a full page screenshot and you're able to see all the contents that were on that page. You can also mark up your screenshot with any notes and highlighting that you need to do. And then once you're done, you tap done and it'll save directly to your files app. Stacking is a great way to send multiple photos at a time. All you have to do is press and hold on one photo and then start tapping on the rest of the photos and they will start stacking. You can add them to an album if you want to. You can also send them in messages, emails, whatever. You don't have to send one photo at a time. You can literally just add all of them at the same time, which is great. Now this also works in Safari as well. To make a focus, all you have to do is swipe down, tap focus, and then the plus sign. Here you're going to be able to create your own custom focus. You can also set up different home screens for each of your focus. And setting up focus modes can definitely maximize your productivity. I have linked a full length tutorial in the description box. Here's some quick and easy hand gestures to help you move throughout your iPad. So on this bottom line, you can use it to swipe between apps. Or you can use the four finger method to also swipe between apps. To close an app, all you have to do is swipe up with one finger or you can use the pinch in method. To close out of an app completely, all you have to do is swipe up with a finger to open all your apps and then swipe up on each app that you want to close out. Stage Manager is great for multitasking. So if you want to work on more than two apps at a time, this would be a great way to do so because you're able to use up to four apps on your screen at one time. And it does not look cluttered at all. It looks very organized. I love a good shortcut. I use them all the time because I like to be able to easily access my digital planner and my journals. And the way to do this is just by going to the app shortcuts. And then if you don't see it, just type it in and then it'll come up. And then if you tap on the plus sign, you're going to begin to add a new shortcut. Um, and then in that search bar, what you're just gonna do is 
type in or write in the app that you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to use Good Notes, and then I'm just going to select which um, document I want. And then in the where the I is the info, you're going to just tap the Add to Home screen, and there you'll be able to um, rename your shortcut and add a photo. You can also do this with important web pages that you need to access quickly. Here's another tip that I use all the time and this one is copy and pasting between devices. If you have two Apple devices set up on the same email, then you're able to basically copy and paste between those two devices. If your iPad is locked and you need to make a quick note, all you have to do is just tap your pencil on your screen and it'll open up your notes app. To create a split screen, you can slide up from the bottom to open your dock and pull that other app in view, or you can use the three dots at the top of the current app that's in view. Just like Stage Manager, split screens are great for multitasking as well. If you're someone who digital plans or digital, digital journals on your iPad, this will be a great way to use split screen. And if you set it as a smaller split screen, you can then swipe between multiple apps at a time. And that's it y'all. I hope you found some great tips that you can now use. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye y'all.